Good morning everyone and welcome back to another renovation vlog update. Just to give you a bit of context in terms of time, I just got back from my holiday in Gran Canaria last night. So we're really excited to see the house because we haven't seen it for a week. I think the extension is almost finished, I think they're going to do the roof over the next few days and that will be finished. Um, and we need to pop over now to talk through the upstairs bathroom and all the electrics for downstairs like where we want plug sockets and stuff to go which is something I find really tricky because I don't even know I kind of want them everywhere but then the new kind of law if you're redoing your electrics state that they have to be quite high up on the wall so they're really like obvious so I also don't really want them to be everywhere but you kind of need lots of plug sockets it's better to have more than less I think so we're going to head over to the house now to do that and I'm really excited there'll probably be builders there and I don't really want to vlog in front of them so I'll probably just take some clips and then talk through them afterwards. So we went to the house and it was really cool to see how it's developed in a week. They've pretty much built the extension now, both walls and the back wall, which means that we could get the door company round to measure up the doors. We're going for aluminium, black, crittle style doors, not steel, mainly because they're cheaper and they are warmer. We're going with a company called Aspire. So we paid the deposit and got a quote and stuff, but we couldn't kind of get them made until that space was built. So that was our main priority and they've come around and measured for that space. It's really cool now that that back wall has been knocked down to see how big the area is where our kitchen's gonna go. I'm, I, I'm not shocked by it. Like I really had the vision and it's turned out just as I kind of had hoped. But it's really cool to see other people's reactions when they come over because they're like, oh my God, there's so much more space. I'm so happy. Just like a small, like three meters isn't that much. That's how much we've extended out the back, but it makes such a difference in terms of like internal space. So yeah, that was really exciting. All the floors being like ripped up. So as you can see in our lounge, there's like no floor there. It's just like the joists, I think it's called. We're gonna have underfloor heating put in there. Tomorrow's gonna be a really exciting day because we've got a lot of surveys happening. We've got the kitchen company people coming round, so we're using Herringbone Kitchen, they're coming to do a survey. We've got Ripple's bathrooms coming round to talk to the builders and show them what to do and how the bathrooms are going to be done because we've been planning those for the past few months. And we've also got our flooring company who are called Parquet Flooring coming to measure up the space. So all these things that we've been planning and talking to for ages are actually starting to happen now. So it's all very exciting and I'll update to you again tomorrow. Okay, we're on our way to the house and the first people we're meeting are Ripple's bathrooms. Um, our lovely bathroom designer, Annabelle, who I have just loved working with her. She is so kind. We went to a few different bathroom places, had some really terrible experiences, and then we met Annabelle and she was just great. Like, I feel like I want to be her friend. She really got my vision and she was lovely to work with. So she's now coming over to kind of brief our builders and explain to them the layout of the bathroom and how it should all be fit, which is really nice because it makes me feel like at ease that they are going to install everything like we had discussed it would look. So that's the first thing that's happening. And then Adrian from Herringbone Kitchens um, is coming around to do a survey of the space because obviously we've extended so he needs to come look at the space and just check all the measurements are right and we're gonna like maybe change a few things in terms of like where the island's gonna go we want three hanging lights above the island but because we've got a skylight it's kind of complicated for me to move that around as well and then at some point today as well um, someone from Parquet Flooring are coming um, I'm so excited I think that's gonna make such a massive difference to the house I can't wait to have Parquet Flooring um, so it's real wood sorry we're going under a tunnel and we chose a color called truffle gray so it's like kind of a cool tone I didn't want anything too orangey um, and I didn't want anything too light either so it's somewhere in the middle and I think it's gonna look great we've also now decided to have that in the hallway as well so it's just throughout the downstairs of the house we just came from the house and I might pop in back later to show you because I can't really film when the builders are there but they've already started um, plastering upstairs which is really exciting to see the walls looking normal again um, they've put like new joists down um, downstairs which look really good and really neat and yeah we had went through I talked through both bathrooms we talked through the kitchen there was like so much information I didn't know what they were talking about half the time but it's all feeling really organized and on track if not maybe a bit faster than schedule which is great okay we've just popped to the house so I thought I'd quickly show you an update of what's going on they've started to build the roof of the extension so as you can see this is where the skylight is gonna go which is pretty cool to see it like that actually so that's, I think, the main thing that's been happening today. Um, I'll show you upstairs as well. We've just come to the house and they've plastered the room. This is the bedroom. It's so soft and smooth and silky. Very excited about this. It makes it look a bit proper again. This is, the, this is our living room floor right now. It's so crazy to see, like, it's held up by all these bricks and it's so much lower down 
and there's like loads of weird stuff as well like under the floor you don't even know about we've just come to check the house and i wanted to show you guys but um there's literally like no boards out for us to walk on this is the the current floor situation <laughs> rich just balanced his way over there um so i feel like there's not much to show i might take you upstairs uh, is the roof done yeah i know Wow. I want to come see. How did you do that? I feel like this is not good. I've got a bad neck. Don't worry. It's literally... Describe it to us. It's got the, the um, insulation going through it at the moment in the, in the joists. The rest of the house is still looking pretty chaotic. I'm going to bring you upstairs. Slightly concerned about this ladder, which is just like balancing here. So let's hope this doesn't fall on me. They've just redone this wall. Yesterday, this wall was exposed, so they've kind of put something there. I'm not really sure what that's about. And they've done the same here. Again, don't really know what that's about, but cool. And then my office has been plastered. Yay, is it wet? A little bit. Oh, that means all the rooms have been plastered now, which is amazing. Looking out of my office window, you can see the skylight and the roof, which is really cool. Okay, it's a Thursday. I've had a working from home day, so I'm not wearing any makeup, um, but I'm going to head over to the house. I actually went there this morning to meet the electricians, but um, I'm going back because I want to measure up dining table space and see what size we can get. I would love an eight-seater, but I think we're going to be able to fit a six-seater. Which is good, because I reckon you normally have like six people over, but it would be nice to have the option to have more. Um, there are extendable tables, but I think because of where's our, where ours is going, it won't be able to... I'm out of breath from walking up the stairs. This is a joke. Um, I think because of the wall, we won't be able to extend. Anyway, I'm going to go measure that space and take my parents around because they haven't seen the house in a while. Also, Rich is going to meet us there after work. Just got to the house and they've plastered all of the hallway. That is so exciting. Sorry, I've used the word exciting a lot in this video, but I love a plastered wall. The little things please me now. We started doing the um, wall to the toilet. Actually, maybe that's just for privacy. I think that's for privacy because they're using that temporary toilet there. Um, so what's happened today? I'll take you upstairs because you can see the roof from um, my office if you look out the window. We started um, doing something to the fireplace over there. <laughs> I'm not sure of the technical term. So all of this has been plastered, including the ceiling, which is really, really cool. Oh wow, so they've put all these wooden boards down in the bathroom and they've put the bath here. I guess it's just to keep get out of the way but it's yeah. weird to see it actually in position so i'm kind of leaning out the bathroom window here but you can see rich what's this black stuff that they put on the roof i think it's like tar this is what makes it kind of waterproof and stuff you need to put on a roof basically don't really know but that's yes the other day when i showed you it was just wood i think so that's now gone on top of the wood there's loads of deliveries here these are the tiles we are having in our downstairs toilet they're obviously dirty they're not gonna look like that but they're just like slate hexagon tiles they look really cool i like those it's hard to keep track of what's actually changed since the last time i came here but um i've just noticed that they've put the shower tray down so this goes underneath the tiles and it basically slopes slightly so that you can have it like a, a walk-in kind of wet room type thing and it just looks like it's tiled. I'm just at the house. You have to excuse what I look like because it was Keisha's hen party last night and I'm very tired and hungover. Um, there's not much to update you on, I don't think. It's getting to that point again where they're doing little things that I can't really notice. And also until our back doors come, um, every time I come here when the builders aren't here, the back is boarded up and it's like drilled in. So it's much darker when I'm here vlogging and I can't get out the back. So it's quite tricky to film at the moment, but I'll show you around. So the whole hallway here is all been plastered. I think I might have shown you that already. So let me take you downstairs. They've started putting, whoa, sorry, nearly fell over. They have started putting this down on the floor. Um, and then I think the underfloor heating is going to go on top of that. And then our wooden flooring goes on top of that. They've also started doing the electrics down here for this room. I can't kind of go over there, but you can see they've chased for the plug sockets and they've continued that all the way downstairs and here. They've also done the plug sockets for the kitchen, which is gonna go along here. And then the roof, I think is the same as it was last time I came over. Um, they've also been helped digging out our bamboo in the back garden. So not much of an update today, but electrics and stuff have gone in. 
Also, one over there, um, they, my electrician's really good, and he suggested that if we're sitting outside in the garden at night and we come back in and want to turn the light on, he's put a switch just there by the back door, which is really cool. Good morning, everyone. I am going to head to the house later. Um, I'm going to try go there while the builders are there so that I can actually film some stuff while the boards aren't up. Um, I actually don't really know what they're doing today, but I will see. But I thought whilst I'm vlogging, I just put up my video of the first renovation vlog yesterday. Thank you so much for all of your kind comments and for watching the video and stuff. Um, I thought I would answer a few questions that I got as comments. Um, someone asked if I could put the dates in from when I'm vlogging, but I kind of thought a lot about how I'm going to document this beforehand and I feel like filming this process as interesting as it is and I as much as I want to do it it is a very personal thing to do so I think my way I don't even know if it makes sense but my way of just keeping it a little bit personal is by not putting the dates up because then I'm not kind of telling the whole world about what state my house is at at this current time like the content is slightly delayed so I won't be putting dates up but when I'm done I will talk through the whole renovation and how long it took and yeah how long the whole project took and our expectations versus what happened all of that so that's why there aren't dates sorry if that is a bit confusing but hopefully you're still enjoying it anyway um just so many so many nice comments let me see if there are any other questions lots of people have said we um it looks like it's moving really fast and yeah we've been really well i wouldn't say lucky with our builders we did a lot of research um we basically got all of our potential builders from recommendations from friends so we had five recommendations um like lots of friends parents and stuff who have done work to their houses um and we basically narrowed it down to three and then we met up with all of them we talked through the whole thing we got quotes from them um some came out a lot cheaper but kind of only wanted cash and we didn't really feel comfortable with that um, and we basically just compared the three different um quotes but also um we met up with them and we got a feel you know one person that we met up with uh, made a really like kind of rude comment about something in the house and it just made me feel a bit uncomfortable so i was like even though you know maybe he's more affordable i didn't i didn't feel comfortable with that you have to be comfortable with these people so um that's how we picked ours and yeah we're really happy they've been doing an amazing job so definitely kind of speak to anyone else you know in your area who's doing work sometimes if you walk around like your local roads if someone's having work done you can go in and like ask for their card that's also quite a good way of finding builders quite a few comments of people just being like no i can't believe you ripped out the original fireplaces they weren't original fireplaces we're keeping all the original features in the house i love that about the house the banisters the kind of skirting and the corner scene and the doors um, but the fireplaces were not original. They were installed a few years ago um, to go with the kind of really gothic theme of the house. So don't worry, they weren't original. We really hated them. Um, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have ripped them out if they were beautiful original fireplaces. We're going to put on like a really simple mantelpiece that looks like an original one. Someone asked about saving the sash windows at the back of the house. Um, you'll see because of the sort of windows and doors we're having and um, we had to knock down that kind of back door and window but they were both actually really rotted and we wouldn't have been able to keep them anyway the windows upstairs at the back of the house are also completely destroyed so we are having new windows at the back to go with the back door but the front of the house we're keeping all the original sash windows which are terrible like the windows in our bedroom are so paper thin they like rattle when you walk around and it's freezing in our bedroom so one day we'll probably have to redo them but they are so expensive so for now we're just keeping them as they are yeah and i think that was about it um massive hats off to anyone who's living in their house while doing that kind of renovation work we're just so lucky that we can stay at my parents it's made such a difference so um a few people have commented saying that they're living in their house while doing that kind of work like I don't know how you're doing it, so well done to you. Okay, I just got to the house, and look, all the bamboo roots have been dug up. This is incredible. Like they're all in the middle here, but we actually have like flat soil, so we can have like a shed back here, and some other stuff. Very excited about this. Who knew I'd be so excited about bamboo roots, but wow, look how thick they are. That's actually insane. There was actually not much else to show you at the house. Um, they were just laying down the kind of heating stuff what's it called like the thermo stuff that goes under the underfloor heating they were just putting that all over the floor and the plumber was upstairs kind of starting on the bathroom um but just doing all like plumbing stuff that you can't really see but our wood floor sample has just arrived downstairs so i'll go show you they kind of treated the wood and made up a little sample for us um but they're currently making making it all for the rest of the house so i'll show you the sample it looks different in different colors um, in sunlight, it looks a little like kind of whitewashed, um, not in direct sunlight, 
I prefer what it looks like not in direct sunlight, but I like what it looks like in both. It's really nice. I just wanted something cool toned. I didn't want like a warm wood. I didn't want something really, really light. Um, to me, it kind of goes with the other colours in the house, like the navy blues that we're having and the whites. And it feels like a little bit like kind of mid-century to me. Um, I'll go and show you the sample and you can decide what you think. So this is what the sample looks like. Obviously, it's going to look really contrasting and different with my parents' floor, which is quite a, a warm wood. Um, so this is what it looks like. Um, I really like the size of the, the wood because obviously we're having parquet like this. And it looks quite grey on camera. Like I said, it looks different in different lights. But I think it's really nice. And yeah, I'm really happy with it. Just going to take an extra shot from back here because when you're a bit further away, you can kind of see the tones better. I just came from the house and I think this has been the first day that I haven't been really excited about it and just been a bit like, oh, I'm a control freak, a self-confessed -con control freak. Um, and I am like that because I know that if something is totally out of my control, I just get really stressy. So I made loads of big decisions early on about the bathroom and kitchen and stuff so that I wouldn't have to make like any quick decisions. But with a house renovation like this, there's always going to be some like quick decisions you have to make. And I went there today and they were asking me about like thermostats and how many thermostats to control the underfloor heating, to control the upstairs radiators, where I want the lights on the front of the house and like just things that I really hadn't thought about. And I find it really difficult to like form an opinion on stuff when I, I don't know. Um, so that wasn't that fun, me and Rich had an argument about thermostats and then I fell through the ground, like I, I accidentally walk, didn't walk on the beams, I walked on like the the kind of lining and I just, my leg went straight through the ground, so that was a bit shocking. <laughs> I'm fine but, oh, I just, I feel like I need a nap, it's like 10.30 in the morning and I'm like mentally shattered. And I was meant to be filming a video today. Okay, I think what I will do before I end this video is show you guys a kind of design of the bathrooms and wardrobes because that's kind of where we're at. Bathrooms are starting to get fitted and um, I went over there yesterday with a friend of mine who designs wardrobes. Um, she doesn't really do it as a living anymore so I can't like link to her or anything but she's kind of doing me a favour and helping design the wardrobes and then our builders are just making them out of MDF and we're just going to paint them because that's kind of the cheapest way to do wardrobes especially if you're painting them you don't really need them to be made out of proper wood so I'm going to show you the designs for those and then I think I'm going to wrap up this video because it's getting a little bit long I feel like this one wasn't quite as interesting as the first one because you can't literally see as much happening like when we built the extension it was really exciting whereas now they're kind of putting in underfloor heating and it's not stuff that you can really see um, but hopefully the next video when things start maybe getting like bathrooms are going and things might get decorated I feel like the upstairs of the house is going to get done a lot quicker than the downstairs because we have to wait for things like doors and kitchens which kind of delay the project there's always I think a period of time during a renovation where the builders can't really do anything until certain stuff like arrives so let me show you some stuff that you might find interesting sorry that this is just on my phone but it's the best way I can show you for now so this is our downstairs toilet um, this is where the sliding door is and this is where the washer and dryer are going to be. Sorry, I've got really dirty nails, that's gross. Um, so as you can see, the toilet's slightly to the side because otherwise they'd be too close to the sink. Um, so there's going to be a little bit of a gap here, we might have like a hanging plant or something. Um, the toilet's built in so it'd be a bit of a ledge back there. And then we've got a concrete sink on the wall with taps and then a little rail for a towel. So this is the kind of design for the toilet downstairs. This is the design for the upstairs bathroom, so you walk in, the door, we're switching the door around. There'll be two sinks on the right there with a mirrored cabinet, the bath going there across the window, toilet there. We're having a bit of a fancy toilet, which I will talk you through when it actually goes in. Um, Rich was desperate for this toilet. Um, the boiler's going to be above the toilet, then we're going to have a towel rail and then like a walk-in shower there. So that's the kind of layout for the bathroom. It took us quite a while to figure out this layout because it's a funny shaped bathroom, but... I think this is going to work really well. Under the sinks we're having this like drawer unit um, and the Caesar stone worktop the same as our kitchen. Ripples did some really great kind of 3D drawings which meant that we could really see what the bathroom was going to look like. These are little like recesses um, above the bath. And then for wardrobes this is a very rough drawing but um, we have the chimney breast in the middle and we're going to be putting a TV on there. So what we've done is this is Rich's side. It's going to have a mix of drawers and shelves um, and two short hanging as some bit at the top for storage I wanted to go all the way to the ceiling to get as much space as possible and on my side I've got some drawers shelves 
short hanging for tops and jeans and trousers, some long hanging for dresses, bit of storage up there for some handbags and storage right at the top as well. And then in the middle, these are obviously going to be quite shallow because of the chimney breasts, but we can have a couple of drawers, I think, and then just like open shelving. Haven't quite decided whether to put doors or not on here because I'd need three doors and it might be a bit busy. So I might just have open shelves. I'm not sure yet. We're going to decide that later. So this is the sort of thing we're going to try and build. So I think I'm going to leave this um, renovation vlog here. I'm heading over to the house later because I need to meet a man with a drill who's going to drill a hole into our like steel bath because our builders were like, we can't do that. Um, it's quite risky. I really hope the whole bath doesn't crack, but apparently it's been done before. It's just so that we can have a deck mounted shower for when you like want to wash your hair or clean the bath. Um, so that's happening this afternoon and I don't know what they're doing at the house today, but um, I guess I will start the next vlog now, so you will see that soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, I don't know, let me know if you have any other questions and I can answer them in the next one. I'm feeling a little bit impatient now, like I kind of, it's at that stage where there isn't like big exciting things happening and I kind of want to get back and I'm feeling a bit like itchy living here now, so um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it being done. I'm also just really looking forward to the floor going in. I feel like that will make me feel like it's more of a home. We also met up with a shutter man yesterday to get a quote on some shutters. So that'll be cool. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.